Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. In today's episode of Rust Electricity 101, the component guide, we're going to cover the fluid switch and pump, a new component introduced with the Farming 2.0 update, which is used as a valve for fluids, but it's also an electrical component because it acts as a pump and you can automate it using electricity as well. It's discoverable in crates, sunken chests, and on oil rig scientists. You can see here it be can be crafted at a level one workbench using five high quality metal. It can also be purchased at the outpost or bandit camp for 30 scrap. With the wire tool here, you will see it has two handles, a pump power handle, which is used for providing the two units of power required to operate the pump, and a toggle handle used for triggering the mode from on to off or vice versa automatically using electricity. As a fluid valve or switch, it can be operated manually simply by toggling it by hand. So power is not required to use this component as a valve, but power is required to use it as a pump. You will find it's likely you will end up using this quite a bit because in order to move fluids from a lower elevation, such as this water barrel's output, up to a higher elevation, such as this sprinkler, you're going to need to have a powered pump to raise the elevation of the water. It's possible for you to place your fluid components so that they're all gravity fed and use this just as a valve, but it wouldn't be unusual for you to use it as a pump as well. I'm going to go ahead and use the hose tool to hook up this barrel to the sprinkler and you see there is a warning there that a pump is required. Simply turning this on does nothing because it's above us. So we're going to provide power to this pump. Now I'm going to use a battery here so I can demonstrate that when it is off, no power usage. When I turn it on, You'll hear the sound of it operating. You'll see that fluid's being pumped through. You'll also see that we're now using two units of power to operate the pump. There's an interesting anomaly here from an electrical perspective, which is if you remove the fluid from the situation and leave it on, you can hear it's still operating, but there's no power usage. So even though it is on, if there's no fluid to flow through the system, it apparently does not consume any electricity. This may be a bug that is fixed at a future date. So there you have it, a very handy component, both as a manual fluid valve, but also as an electrically powered pump, which can be connected by this toggle to any number of logic circuits that would allow you to automate turning it on and off it's going to be invaluable for doing watering of crops, especially on a timed or automated basis. There you have it, the new fluid switch and pump component. 